Well, this weather is really for the birds because they're about the only ones enjoying it. I think our producer, Ashlyn uh, Hendricks, wrote this. And, you know, she's right uh, because, well, you know, it's cold out there. But that sky, that beautiful, clear sky, that winter sky. So cold weather for the birds. Uh, News 10, oh, actually, News 10 reporter Chloe Markley shot this for us. But I think uh, Ashlyn wrote that little uh, line there for you. So, yeah, a lot of people don't like this cold weather. But we have some clouds coming in tonight. Uh, a starry sky early, but then later on tonight we'll have some clouds and light snow is possible once we get into the day tomorrow. Just a little bit of light snow during the day on Wednesday, maybe a few lingering flurries onto Wednesday night and then breezy as well. And what's going to happen breezy tomorrow and tomorrow night and then tomorrow night the wind changes direction. So a little bit warmer tomorrow and then a little bit colder once we get to uh, Friday. So let's take a look here at the Storm Team 10 clouds and radar. A clear sky right now, just really nice. But out west, we do have some uh, cloudiness here. And eventually that's going to make its way here into the News 10 viewing area. So let's look at the future cast. Here's midnight tonight. But then here's 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when the clouds move in through the overnight hours. Late, late uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. By 6 o'clock, just a few little spots of snow possible. And then we get to 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then here's noon tomorrow. So again, this is not a big snow event. This is not a snowmaker coming our way. But it's possible we could have just a little bit of light snow. Even into tomorrow evening, the possibility of a few lingering flurries. See that just around here? So we have that possibility. But what's going to happen tomorrow night? After a breezy day tomorrow and tomorrow evening, the wind changes direction and starts to again come from the north. So that means it will be cooler the day after tomorrow. Not real, real cold, but a little bit colder than uh, what we'll have tomorrow. So overnight lows tonight, not as cold as last night. Tonight, Vermilion 12 in Kansas 13, uh, Casey 13, Green up 14. And uh, for the overnight tonight, uh, Rosedale at 13, Rockville 12. So overnight lows tonight in the teens mostly, rather than the uh, single digits like we had last night. And so that's actually pretty good news. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then we get into the day tomorrow, a little bit warmer. We have that southerly breeze. So 35 for tomorrow in Vermilion, 38 in uh, Paris. 38 in Rosedale, 35 here in Terre Haute, Prairieton, 35 and Vincennes at 36, and uh, 38 in Alney and 39 in Sailor Springs. Kind of a southerly breeze, but then that possibility of a little bit of snow. Kit asked me one time, uh, she said, well, why does it feel a little bit warmer before it snows? Well, a lot of times what happens, we'll have kind of a southerly breeze, and it warms us up a little bit, and then you get a bit of snow. That's why it feels a little bit warmer tomorrow, and we'll have just a bit of snow. A lot of, not a lot of snow, but just a little bit. So stars early tonight. Clouds later on, not as cold, an overnight low tonight down to about 13. Then for tomorrow, a high of 35, cloudy, breezy, chance of a little bit of light snow. Not much, but just a little bit, maybe just enough to make a little slick spot or two. And then for tomorrow night, kind of a breezy night tomorrow night, wind 8 to 13 from the west-southwest, then changing to the north-northwest. Still a few flurries hanging around, an overnight low tomorrow night of 19. And then 27 for the high on Friday, so see tomorrow 35. And then 27 on Friday. But look at that. Look what happens next week. Monday 44, Tuesday 51, and Wednesday 45. So stop your grumbling about the cold weather. <laughs>